Oh, it's a little bit of a hair. It's growing. It's like a mess. What are you looking at? Mommy's foundation? Do you approve of it? Do you approve of L'Oreal? Be like, hey, L'Oreal, you better pick up my mama. You better pick up my mama, put it on her PR list. Yeah? Can I bribe them with a baby? Yeah. Right? No? <laughs> alright, alright, go on, puppy. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. And bye, I'm gonna spit on my face like that. Let's see if that fo if the foundation holds spit up from babies. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Francis Michelle here. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my review, my thoughts on the new L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I went to like three different stores trying to find these um, new products, and I'm so happy that I got my hands on them. So today's video, I'm going to give you my thoughts. Um, the last time I did a review on the, was the new Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and it was a hit. So that means you guys like this type of video. So you guys love to watch um, like my thoughts and reviews on foundations from the drugstore. So today, I am so excited to be able to try out a new foundation because I was actually getting tired of the old ones that I've been using. I was like, when is there a good foundation going to come out? And I'm hoping this is it. So if you guys want to see um, a little bit further, my thoughts, application, review, first impression, all that that we're going to talk about in this video. Before we get into the video, make sure that first, you have your cup of coffee. <laughs> Second, you subscribe to my channel. And third... Just enjoy the video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch. All right. So I always say this on my videos. If you're tuning in for the first time, thank you. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Mikasa. <laughs> if you hear it's chirping in the back. There you go. That's my little one. I have a almost three month old baby and he is knocked out on his swing. And this is the time mommy gets to record a video. So I have to make my peace with it, so do you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so let's quickly move into the um, to the video because I don't have a lot of time. Um, my little one's gonna wake up any minute now, so I have to move quickly. So as I'm talking to you, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my skin. I prep my skin in the morning with a tone, um, with a, not a toner, um, a concentrated serum, a vitamin C concentrated serum. From All right, so let's talk about this foundation. It is, from the infallible line i am a true believer of both infallibles when they came out the pro matte and the pro glow i think i use the pro glow more just because my my skin is very very dry so i stuck to the pro glow for a very very long time so when i heard this one was coming out i heard this one i was like so I'm going to always, like I always do, I'm going to pretty much ins uh, state what the brand says this does and then we're going to put it to the test. So it says it's infallible 24, up to 24 hour fresh wear. Um, the other, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the other infallibles are also um, long wear. So I, I love that. For The other ones were really, really, really good. It held up their games when it comes to being there for a very long time. Um, it says it's a breathable texture, so I guess you're going to feel, um, it's not going to feel like over the top. It's not going to feel too heavy. It's not going to feel too cakey, which that is awesome. It is for all skin type. It says it is waterproof and non-comedonogenic. I have no idea what that means. Um, so it says it has up to 24 hours of fresh staying power, long-lasting foundations with our most lightweight, breathable, Breathable texture, waterproof, transfer resistant, and sweat resistant foundation. Medium to full buildable coverage foundation for a natural finish. I like what I'm hearing. I like that it says that it is a medium to full, but it's buildable. I'm all about full coverage foundation. I'm all about full coverage foundation, guys. You know me. I have a lot of beautiful imperfections I want to hide. So I love the fact that a foundation is going to be um, long wearing and it's going to be, I love the fact that it's non-resistant. Like, let's see about that. Um, they go non-transfer, non-transferable because I hate hugging my husband and having like my whole entire foundation on his sweater and it's just very, very, it's very embarrassing. <laughs> so we have 30 shades, like, yes. I was happy when I went to Walmart. I found myself Walmart, by the way. I went to Walmart and I saw the foundation range. I was like, I'm in heaven. I love it. It's 30 shades and I'm so excited about that because that means that I can find my own 
shape. I'm so pale. Um, so that I loved. Um, that's what, what the foundation is all about. Let's see. But also they came out with a full wear concealer. I don't know which one I'm more excited to try if the concealer or the foundation I think both I don't know whatever okay so let's talk about the con the, con the conditioner <laughs> let's talk about the concealer guys okay so right off the bat it says it's a full wear so I'm guessing it's full coverage and it says it's more than a concealer maybe they're going with the concept of a shade tape concealer like the um, multi-use thick concealer from uh, born this way that you can use it for concealing highlighting, but at the same time you can use it for sculpting So I'm guessing that is probably what they're going for They have one two three four five one They have 25 range of colors for the concealers. That is great. I think that's amazing So what it claims is a shape cover and contour full coverage concealer. There you go So it's more than just a concealer um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's a full wear uh, it's their highest coverage formula and it's their widest concealer shade range ever and it says it's a full it provides full coverage and with a flawless matte finish great i'm up for it so let's go you guys wanted to see makeup videos so here i am with your makeup videos so skin is ready we're going to be applying this foundation with a beauty blender. I feel like the best way to apply a foundation, a liquid foundation, is with a beauty blender. Um, the difference between this one and the other Infallible Pro foundation is that you saw that it was a tube where you squeezed the foundation. This one, it's a glass, it's a glass bottle with, um, it says here, 10 fluid ounces, which is, I think it's a great um, size for a foundation, but it has a pump. Any foundation with pump for me is like my best friend. So I like to just pump in my hand and then place it in my face. I'm using the color um, 440 at the moment. I think I'm going to go back and grab a deeper shade just because I tan. And this one is right now when I'm not tan. Okay, so right off the bat is a very, very lightweight foundation. It is not too watery, it, but it feels very lightweight once I apply it. I've been a sucker for their infallible foundation for a long time. I stopped using it when CoverGirl came out with their um, True Matte Foundation. Oh, oh, oh! It has a very, very nice scent, guys. Oh my God! It smells, it smells clean, fresh. It smells like linen. You know when you're walking into your mom's house and she's doing laundry, and you can smell it outside. That's what it smells like. Very lightweight, definitely buildable coverage. The color is a little bit, just a tad bit darker than my skin but i'm not mad at it, at it because i want to bring a little bit of color into my face so i'm gonna have to probably like even out my neck with my foundation coverage is not bad guys like right now it's just one layer and it's not bad i can wear it like this if i just want to do like a very light light feel to my skin like you want to feel like you don't have anything on your face but at the same time you're getting coverage then this is amazing like i just did one layer of it and i absolutely love the finish on it like i love how you can see how it covered everything as you can see you can still see that it covered like a lot on my skin but i like it full coverage so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with another layer all right, it feels very lightweight, guys. It feels like I nor I don't have any foundation on my skin. I love the finish of it. Um, it is a matte finish, but at the same time, it's not like too cakey. Um, I have a dry skin, so technically matte foundations don't kind of work for my skin, but I like using them. As long as they don't make my face look cakey, as long as they don't make my face, my face look extra dry. As far as of right now, guys, honestly speaking, I am liking the finish of it. I like how lightweight it feels. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy, like I have a lot of foundation on, and I did apply two layers of foundation. Um, I like it, guys. So far, so good, honestly speaking. 
And again, I'm not getting paid to do this video, so I don't need to kiss ass to nobody. Let's go ahead and try on the concealer. Uh, the concealer I'm wearing is the color Cashmere in 360. It looks light on the on the on the pomade. So let's see. Oh, oh, I love any concealer that had this type of wand. Look at that. It's like the um it's like this one. Look, just like it. But it is way bigger. Look at that. Look at the tip of this one. This one's the Too Faced. Look at the tip of the L'Oreal. Like, look at the tip though. Like, that's crazy. How big it is. Oh, I like. I like this. I like this. I like concealers and I cannot lie. My black eyes won't be showing anymore. Yeah, no. That didn't go. Definitely didn't go. Oh, a little bit goes a long way. That's all, I'm gotta, all I gotta say. Okay. Let's clean this off a little bit. There's a lot of the sponge. Oh, whoa. I cleaned off the sponge. The spoolie, whatever you guys want to call it. I call it a little, a little sponge. And I still have a lot of product left on it that I can apply pretty much everywhere that I apply my concealer. Let's see, let's put it to the test. I have been a true believer and a true fan of only but only the Too Faced um, multi-sculpting concealer and the Shape Tape, the Shape, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because of their consistency and because of their blendability and as well as their coverage. So let's put this one to the test. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I really had high hopes for it, but if you guys can see, I'm going to come closer, you guys can still see my under eyes. Like, you can still see them. I can still look at them in here. I mean, I know I have bad under eyes. I have a newborn, but the new, the shade tape, the Too Faced Born This Way hides everything. And this one, I can still see, I can still see my imperfections. I'm just going to finish the rest of my face with the concealer though. Like I'm going to blend everything else together. And I'll let you know if I have to apply on top of it. If I have to apply my Born Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Okay, so I apply the concealer. Alright, honestly speaking, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not to the level of my Too Faced where it's full coverage. I am a little disappointed because it says that it's like their fullest coverage um, formula. I'm going to just, you probably look at me and be like, Francis, what the heck, I can't. But if you see me like face to face, like right now, you can still see my under eyes and you can still see like my freckles under my eyes and stuff like that. So I don't want to apply another type of concealer on top of it. I'm going to go ahead and do another layer of this concealer and see if maybe that works because I really, really, really want this concealer to work. It is um, it is a little bit more watery. Not watery, but it is more um, liquidy compared to the Too Faced. When I apply Too Faced, it's very thick, very heavy. This one is not as thick and as heavy, so maybe given that, probably... But let me just do a second layer really quick. Okay, so there we have it. This is two layers of both foundation and concealer. I am looking like a ghost. I know. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to pretty much um, work off camera. And I'll come back to um, the camera after I'm done putting everything on my face. And I'm going to let you know how everything blended, how everything set together. Um, I am going to use my powder, I am going to set my foundation, I'm going to do everything and then I will pretty much, I have a lot of errands to do today so I will be able to come back later on the afternoon and give you guys a full on review on how it lasted during the day. But as of right now, I'm going to finish my eyebrows, my face, everything, how everything kind of mixed together and um, I'll let you know guys on that. Alright guys. A huge difference, right? Yeah, I know. Huge. I just did like this to my boobs. <laughs> a huge difference. I know. My little, my middle child. I gotta get used to the little one. It's already in the middle. My middle child says I look pretty with makeup. Kids don't lie. So I'm pretty sure that is like 100% true. Alright, guys. So this is what my face looks like completed. 
um, with the makeup and everything. I set my foundation. I used my loose powder. I used um, my regular face powder. So I did set my foundation and all that. Um, I do have to say right off the bat, I am loving the foundation. I'm loving the fact that it's so breathable. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. And lately, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Not because I'm making this video, but very honest. I've been using on my... I was using the True Blend, True Matte Blend, the CoverGirl one, which I love. Um, but for me, it was starting to feel a little bit too heavy to be on an everyday wear. Like I need to find um, a lighter um, foundation. And then I switched over to the LA Pro Girl uh, foundation, which is great. I absolutely love that one as well. Um, but after... During the day, I would look at myself in the mirror and I would start seeing it, how it would start to look cakey, how it would start to look heavy and started to kind of like break on me. And I was just like, well, what's happening? So I was like, okay, I need to find a foundation that is going to pretty much cover my my needs. Like it's going to stay there all day. It's not going to make my face look too heavy. And definitely it's not going to feel like I have a lot of makeup on. Because my thoughts on this foundation as of right now, as of um, 10 o'clock in the morning, I've been wearing it for about 20 minutes, I would say. Um... I have to say it's amazing. It feels very lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on my face and that is what I need. Now, I'm going to put it to the test with um, pretty much how long it's going to last on my face. I'm going to try to come back a little bit later. I'm going to do some errands, take my son to the doctor um, and uh, cook and whatever. And then I will pretty much give you guys a summary of what my foundation looked like during the day. So let's go ahead and jump into the... Final thoughts on this video. Alright guys, so let's conclude this video. Um, it's been it's been uh, nine hours since I've had this foundation on. Um, I did errands, I took my baby to the doctor and um, everything. And now I'm ready to take it off and go to sleep. And I have to say guys, I absolutely love the foundation. Um, my face looks super fresh. I don't feel like I have any foundation on me whatsoever. Um, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey. And as you can see, everything is still intact. My foundation looks like just exactly how I put it on this morning and I did not apply any um, setting spray. So overall, my thoughts are amazing on this foundation, guys. It is worth every single penny and it's not expensive. So when it comes to the concealer, like I said, I will pass on it. Um, Unless I'm doing like a very simple look where I'm not, I don't want to do like too much. But the concealer for me was not as full coverage as I wanted it and I was hoping it for it to be. Um, but the foundation, it is a medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable. I did two layers of foundation and I got the coverage that I always, always go for on a foundation. Um, but because um, otherwise, I will, like I said, stay, stay away from it unless I'm doing a very easy normal natural look anyways guys i really hope you liked the video um if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe down there and turn on your notifications and follow me on instagram thank you guys for watching muchos besos i'll see you ladies on my following video bye